Good boy. There you go. That's it for today. We'll do another session later, yeah? Can you do fist bump? Good boy. Good job. Enchanté. Hey guys, so while I was away on a work trip last week, hard at work in the field, Momo was also hard at work here at home, learning a new trick. He ended up learning spin. So in the comments, a lot of you mentioned under our gift paw video that you were having trouble with your cats because they didn't like having their paws touched. And um, I mentioned in some of my responses that it's possible that some cats, some of our cats don't like their paws touched. So you could try to teach them tricks that don't involve you grabbing their paws and one of those tricks uh -huh. would be spin so that's why that was the next trick that i taught momo spin. so it took him about seven days to learn the trick he's still yeah. not perfect at it he uh -huh. still gets distracted quite easily and we've had some really bad weather um, so the noises coming from outside were quite distracting to him so on day one i basically went through his normal tricks and then took a piece of food and tried to direct him, have him follow it um, into a spin. Good boy, spin. Good boy. High five. Good boy. Up. Good boy. And now spin. Come on. Come on, you did it yesterday. One more. Not good enough to do this and it worked okay but it wasn't perfect so on day two i tried to work with a treat that was a little bit more interesting to him so i tried i had a can of tuna lying around so i tried some tuna which worked well because he was very interested in it but it's very unpractical to handle so you'll see he is doing the trick but it's not the greatest way to do it and he's still quite hesitant to do it And spin. 
good boy. Focus here. And follow it, follow it. Good boy, good boy, spin. Good job. Good boy. Come here. And for it. Spin, good boy. Last one. Ow, you attached to me. You need to be up for this. Okay. And come on, come on, come on, come on. Spin, good boy. Good job. Wait, you can make the plate. I'll just put tuna everywhere. That's fantastic. Then, day three, I had gone out and bought treats that I thought would work, which are very soft stick treats and we'll put the link below if we can of, of something similar or the same ones that we used and those were really really awesome so if you can find those to teach spin i think that's the best one because you can actually use the treat as a little bit of a stick to indicate for the cat to to go where you want him to go instead of them following your fingers so on the third day, I could see he was already doing, because of the treat, he was doing the tricks much better. Okay. Mm -mm. Momo. Okay. Spin. Spin. Good boy. <laughs> Come back here. Spin. Good boy. Ah, you nearly did it. You did half a spin. Good job. All right. Okay. You need to follow it, boy. You gotta do the other way. Momo, come. Come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. Come. And spin. Come. Come on. Follow it, follow it, follow it. Follow through, follow through. <laughs> it takes patience. It takes patience. Come on. Good boy. 
Good job, spin. Good job. Should we do something you know? Will that make you feel better? Come back here. Mama, sit. Sit. Ah, uh -uh. sit. Sit. Good boy. Pop. Good boy. High five. Good boy. Up. Good boy. So it was basically a pa g game of of patience. Um, after day four, he seemed to re he, he seemed to understand what I wanted, and then it was just a question of getting the, the spins tighter and making sure that he was still focused because Momo does have the attention span, and I think it's a cat thing, a very short attention span. So it's easier to do small sessions. So we tend to do one session of about five minutes a day. So it's not a lot, and eventually. The spins got tighter and he's doing them really, really well now, as Good long boy. as there are no distractions around him. So we'll keep working on it and uh, we'll put them in our next training video. We'll keep Good doing the spins boy. and show you the other tricks that he learns. And hope that you'll be able to teach your cat spin. Good boy. High five. High five. Good boy. Paw. Paw. Good boy. Good boy! Well done, Momo! Good boy! There you go! That's it for today? We'll do another session later, yeah? Can you do fist bump? Good boy! Good job! Are you ready, boy? Should you do a couple of your normal tricks to begin? Good boy. Pop. Good boy. Okay, now we're gonna move on to spin. I'm gonna sit up, up, and come. Spin. Good boy.
Not quite, boy. Okay. Sit. Okay. Sit. Good boy. Good job. And spin. Good job. Good boy! Good job! Well done, babe! High five. Good boy. Up. Good boy. We always start with something that we've done before. To get the rhythm. Paw. Good boy. High five. Momo. High five. Good boy. Up. Good boy. Let's switch in reverse. Up. Good boy. High five. Good boy. Paw. Good boy. Add a new trick. One more spin. Hey. Spin. Good boy. And one more spin. Hey, focus. You do the spins much tighter normally. Come here. One more spin. Good boy! And spin! <laughs> You're not focused today, good boy! Like, no, it's raining outside and wait! Go straight! And spin! It's the door, the door is creeping him out! Good boy! Rattling, it's confusing him. Good boy, good job. One more, finish the stick and spin. Oh, <laughs> tripped over my foot. Let's do one more and spin. Good boy, good job, Momo. You're so smart. Such a smart. Or he just follows. He's a smart boy. This bump. This one we should teach him. This bump. Hey, this bump. You did it the other day, dude. Hey, this bump. Good boy. Good job. Good boy! Do it in reverse. Up. Good boy. High five. Good boy. Pop. Good boy. Good boy. 
Tiempo, eh. Pues. Well, there you have it guys, fairly simple, I think it's just a game of repetition. If you did enjoy this video, please leave us a comment, let us know what you think, Good and boy. hit that like button, and please subscribe to us and share with your friends and family. We'll check in the next one, bye. Good boy!